Hey everybody, what's going on? This is uh, Whirl from the TeamLiquid.net StarCraft 2 map and custom games forum. Um, I wanted to get into uh, creating some tutorials for some of the newer map makers out there, specifically on how to do various cool things in melee map making. Um, mostly geared towards newer map makers, but hopefully also these tutorials will help out some of the more advanced map makers too. Um, Today, what I want to talk about is something called Texture Applied Groups. Texture Applied Groups is a way to customize any model, be it a unit or a doodad, into matching the aesthetic of the map that you're trying to make. Um, especially once you started customizing the textures, maybe you need to have your um, other doodads and you need to match that, those new textures. So uh, right here I've created a very, very simple Agria map. It's got some uh, rock archway, giant rock, large rock, small rock. Uh, got some vines over here. And uh, structural rocks, which is a unit. And obviously, and uh, best being guys are here. And i got two Protoss decals. Um, these are all really basic doodads and units, which are really easy to find in the this, um, StarCraft II map editor. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust these rocks um, to something else. So what I can do is I can adjust them from maybe this now, which is this kind of grayish, greenish color. I'm going to change them over to the color of rocks from a different map. Um, there's a lot of varieties, especially with rocks. Um, however, even other things like vines and uh, geysers and decals, even they have different varieties as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the data editor here, which is this little icon in between triggers and text. Um, you can also hit F7 on your keyboard. When you first open up your data editor, you'll notice that uh, you'll probably already have terrain texture sets open. This is where you would customize all your textures um, on your map if you wanted to add new ones, add new cliffs, adjust the fog, things like that. Um, that can be in a different tutorial, but it's not going to be in this one. Um, we want to adjust our models. Um, the model tab is where we're going to find all the texture applied groups for different doodads and units. So let me shrink this a little bit we can see our model a little better. Um, and I'm going to add a tab here by clicking this little icon. And it's going to be under Art and Sound Data. We go to Models. It takes a little second. And we're going to have to look for the model we want to edit. Um, in this case, we're going to do editing some rocks. So let's put in a rock here. And it'll come up with all the different rock models. You see, it's right here. It's finding the rock mix. This is what it... Um, these models are different. They're used for uh, automatically generated foliage. If you ever use that feature to uh, add some grass or little pebbles to your map, that's what these are. We don't really want to mess with those. We're going to go to do that. In this case, we have a rock, a rock giant, a rock, rock large, and a rock arch over there. So let's just start off with this one right here, which is our rock giant. And if we click on it, it's going to load up over here in the right side of this pane. It takes a minute or two while I'm streaming. It's a lot slower. Wait for our scroll bar to pop up. Oops. Bring that back. All right, and if we scroll down, we're going to look for, it's all alphabetical. We're looking for T, Texture Applied Groups. And boom, there it is. And you'll see there's a whole list in here. The ones we're concerned with are the ones that have a name that matches the texture, um, a terrain texture set. So like Agria, Ayer, Avernus, Belcher, Rex, Alpha. These all are different um, texture applied groups as well as different terrain texture sets. So currently it's on Agria. If I set it to Agria, you'll notice it's not going to change. But if I start to scroll through, you'll notice that the texture starts to change as I change the texture applied group. There's a whole variety in here, especially, again, rocks are the most customizable. Pretty much every single texture set has its own rock color. Um, I'm just going to leave it, leave it there in Tirador. Um, and then we can do it with all of our other rock models too, and individually. So, we can change my large rock. Let's change that to char. Change my rock arch to chakras, and so on and so forth. And so forth and so on. Uh, can also adjust our destructible rocks as well. If we go into unit, you'll see that there's destructible rocks. Sometimes you'll notice that destructible rocks 6x6 aren't in here. 
it's kind of weird. I would have had to have searched for 6x6. Six six. It's kind of uh, oddly located sometimes. You'll have to sort of mess around with the search feature if you can't find the uh, exact model that you're looking for. Again, it's taking it away. Scroll down to T. Texture applied groups. And let's go to long. Nope, that one didn't work properly. Oh, that's because actually this is 6x6. Six six. Let's search by 6x6, six six, like I was saying. So you'll see it's under destructible texture swaps. For whatever reason, it's just located in a different folder. Again, texture applied groups. Scroll down, let's go to core hall. Notice the rocks change a little bit. You'll notice that between different texture sets, the leaves will change into like brambles. Some texture sets, there's no leaves or brambles at all. Like on space maps. So, again, a lot of customization in here. You can do some pretty cool stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You'll see over there I have some vines on the right. You can also do this with vines. Scroll down, texture applied groups, change it to redstone. Notice it's probably the default texture. Not all texture sets have a different graphic for all uh, models, but you notice from Arsara these vines turn into brambles similar to the rocks. And there's different colors of leaves to have depending on what you're doing. So again, very customizable, a lot of different options in here. Even just Tuning the color of your uh, your leaves is, is, a, is a great tool to have. Um, lastly, I'm going to change those Protoss details down there. Um, you'll notice that they're blue right now. There's only a couple different options, um, and I'll show them to you real quick. If I can get them to pop up. Details Protoss. Detail Protoss. Sorry. Texture applied groups. I believe there's only maybe three. By default, it's going to be blue, and most of the texture applied groups will be blue. But if I scroll down. A look. There you go. Shakaroth will be orange. Uh, matches the Shakaroth texture set. Keep going. Olnar. Olnar is very cool because not only does it change the color, it also it instead changes the um, the actual variations themselves. So these are whole different shapes than the other uh, the original Protoss decals. So another way you can customize your map with these cool alien decals. Um, and lastly, I think Zakul Doss has a green color. Yep, there we go. So, again, a lot of different options. There's a lot of models you'll find in this list. Huge list. Every model in the game, practically. Um, there are a million and one different texture applied groups. And you'll have to sort of uh, weed your way through here and see if you can find any other really cool things. Um, if you find something neat, like maybe a decal that might, people might not have known had different variations to it, um, post it in the comments, let people know about it, um, maybe post some pictures, show what you've done, um, and I think that's going to be all for now. Good luck, everybody. Uh, look forward to seeing what everyone does. Have a good one.